Hey everyone, Mike here and in this video I'm going to tell you a few things about the gestures available on the Samsung Galaxy S5. Now if you remember the Galaxy S4, that one had a lot of gestures. The Galaxy S5 no longer implements all of them, but it still has a couple of them included. And you will be able to find all of, all of these gestures in the settings under the controls tab. And you have here motions and gestures and you also have air view motions and gestures let's start with this one you have air browse which lets you switch between uh, body of emails gallery pictures internet pages music tracks and uh, music on the lock screen by swiping your head your hand in front of the camera so let's go ahead and try this uh, let's go ahead and open the gallery some pictures in the gallery okay and we're swiping through the gallery by using gestures. It works alright. Really nothing fancy in here. Uh, the same should happen for the music player. Let me find the music player, music player. A little bit laggy in uh, this uh, lock screen mode, but uh, it's overall working. Alright, so that was it. Let's see what else we have in here. Settings, motions and gestures, air browse. Turn this off and direct call. Well, this uh, basically uh, lets you lift the phone from the table if you have a message or a contact detail open and put it at your ear and it will automatically call that person. Uh, it works, I can't really show you this on, on the video, but um, it works. It's not really something that useful, but if you're interested in this particular gesture, uh, it will work. This thing, smart alert, um, will uh, make the phone vibrate when you pick it up and uh, you have a notification uh, waiting for you. So if you have missed calls or messages or Twitter uh, messages or Facebook notifications or anything like this and uh, you have the phone lying down, when you pick it up it will vibrate. Now again, not really something very useful but for some of you it might be okay. Alright, we also have this mute pause option, which actually does a couple of different things. Um, you can select uh, all these options from here and you have covering screen with hand, which uh, lets you perform this particular action in order to mute incoming calls, alarm or pause media, which means videos and uh, music uh, that's playing. Uh, you also have turning the device over, which pretty much does the same thing, mutes the coming calls and alarms and all this kind of stuff. And you have smart pose, which uses the front camera on the on the phone to detect uh, to detect if your face is facing towards the screen. And if it's not facing towards the screen, it will pause the video. Uh, when you're looking away, it will pause the video that's playing. So let's go ahead and uh, test some of this. First the music. Okay, seems to be working. This option seems to be working as well. And now let's go ahead and launch clip. Okay, we don't have any sound, but that's okay, we don't mind that. And now I'm watching at the, I'm looking at the clip and now I'm turning away. And it was paused. Again, now I'm watching it and now I'm looking away. And it was paused. So yeah, it works. Looks like this gesture works. Let's go back to the gestures. And uh, we also have palm swipe to capture if you want to capture um, if you want to take a screen capture, you can use the palm movement. Uh, it works like this, but I really have, I've, I really struggle mastering this move. It works somewhat like this, and you should have a framing effect if you actually manage to capture. Okay, so here we go. 
it work. Uh, it really, I can't really make it work. That's why if I want to take a, a print screen, I just uh, use this uh, this quick uh, other option. Um, it's like this. You have to press the home button and the power button at the same time, and it will take a screenshot. It's it's much easier. So that's definitely something that I'm not using. This is usually off on my device. Um, in fact, most of these gestures are off on my device because um, I like to to save up battery life. But uh, if you find some of them useful, then go ahead. Make sure to make good use of them. Uh, there's also AirView. Um, it hasn't changed that much. It allows you to uh, hover your finger over the screen and get uh, various details. For instance, uh, you can see you can enlarge the pictures in the gallery. You can um, go. You can see through um, a scene in in a video uh, that's playing, or you can see um, the quick dial number associated to one of this. The quick dial number associated to one of this now one of these uh, options on the keypad, so it works okay. You can see that I'm not really uh, okay. I'm not really touching the screen here. All right. What else? Where? In the gallery. Watch the gallery. Movie that's playing. Yeah, I know we can't use this, and you can preview scenes from the movie just by hovering your finger over it um, okay and there's also more also in the gallery go back and if you're in here for instance if you want to see this in large you can just swipe you can just hover your finger over a picture and it will work it should work with movies no it doesn't work with movies so oh it does it does work with movies as well. It shows you the thumbnail of the movie in, uh, enlarged. Okay, okay. So those are basically the things that I wanted to show you on this device. Like I said, they can be useful, but they will also eat through your battery life. So you'll have to choose if you want to have to use the device for longer, or if you want to use some of these gestures. Uh, my advice: if you don't use them, turn them off. It will help. Uh, it will help you squeeze more out of this phone uh, in terms of battery life. Okay, that's about it for now. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them below. Uh, if you have anything to add, well, do that in the comments as well. And if you're interested in more details on the Samsung Galaxy S5, you'll find all those uh, in my other clips. Uh, I've covered this pretty much in depth uh, in the next in the next uh, couple of, uh, of weeks. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon.